Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. It's crock pot day today. This is a dump and go recipe using five ingredients. Now this is a Catalina chicken and if you don't know what Catalina is, it's a salad dressing and it's going to add a nice tanginess to our chicken dish. It'll be great over rice. I'm going to be doing a fried rice for this dish. It's going to be really delicious. Okay, let's grab some simple ingredients and grab your crock pot. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is prepare our crock pot. Now I'm using a six quart here and I'm just going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Or if you're using the bags, you can place a bag in there. And then what we're going to do is I have four chicken breasts here. Now you can use as many chicken breasts as you want for this recipe. And we're going to place these in the bottom of our crock pot. Just in a nice row. Let's go ahead and combine two ingredients that we're gonna pour over our chicken. And the first one's going to be Catalina dressing. Now this is what's going to give it that tanginess. And we're gonna use one cup. Get all that out of there. And to that, we're gonna add half a cup of some peach preserves, jelly or jam, anything that's peach and we're going to be doing half a cup here. That Catalina dressing smells so good. <laughs> it's a favorite of ours, especially for Mexican dishes. When we're making the um, taco salad, add this to it and stir it up with some cheesy nacho Doritos. Oh my gosh, right there. Oh yeah. It That's is good. fabulous. Okay, let's go ahead and add that in. I'm going to go ahead and whisk this together. We're going to pour this over our chicken and we still got another ingredient. I gotta taste it. Mmm, so delicious. Sweet and tangy right there. I just want to make sure it's all covered. Okay, the next ingredient we're going to be using is onion soup mix. The ingredients in here, onions, salt, onion powder, sugar, soy sauce, and other flavorings in there right there. Okay, so we're going to take a package of that and we're going to sprinkle it all over our chicken. Now there's an optional ingredient and it's red pepper flakes crushed. So if you want to add a little bit and add some heat to your sweet and tangy chicken, you can do that or you don't have to. It's very optional. So I think we're going to add just a little bit to ours. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> now this is a ground red pepper flakes. So we're going to be very careful when we put it in. And that's plenty right there. Okay, we're gonna put a lid on. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and place our crock pot on low for anywhere between four to six hours. It all depends on the size of your chicken. If you're using thick chicken, then you would want to cook it around the five, six hour mark. If you've got thinner chicken, then the time is gonna go down. If you're using chicken tenders or just chicken pieces, then your time goes down on that. So my chicken is kind of thin, so we're gonna go around the three to four hour mark. What you wanna do is just put a fork into the chicken and make sure that it is fork tender. Okay, I'm going to make some rice because I'm gonna start making some fried rice to go with my chicken. Okay, make sure that you are subscribing to my channel by hitting that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. Don't forget my thumbs up 
and make sure y'all are sharing these videos because you know other people want to make these recipes alongside of you. Okay, stay tuned. We still got fried rice to make and then I'm gonna finish off our sweet and tangy chicken. Okay, I'm going to show you a quick version of making my fried rice. Now, this can be found in my recipe blog, www.catherinesplates.com. So here we go. Two tablespoons of butter into a large skillet over medium-high heat. All right, so here's the recipe right here that we're going to be using. Okay, we're going to add about one cup of frozen peas and carrots. We're going to cook these down until they're nice and soft. Okay, we're going to sprinkle a little bit of salt in, probably about eighth of a teaspoon. We're going to put some pepper in, about eighth of a teaspoon. And we're going to add about two teaspoons of garlic. We're going to cook this down for one more minute. Okay, we're going to push our peas and carrots off to the side. And we're going to go ahead, now I have four eggs that I'm going to pour in right here. We're going to let those set for just a minute. Okay, we're going to start pushing our eggs away from the sides. And you want to start incorporating the peas and carrots into the egg. And we're going to do this until the eggs are nice and cooked. Okay, our eggs are nice and set. What we're going to do now, put in four cups of cooked rice. Now I have two cups right here. You do want to make sure your rice is cooked ahead of time. Okay, what we're going to do is just mash down the rice. We're going to add in about two to three tablespoons of some soy sauce. We're going to add in some ground ginger. If you have fresh ginger, that's great. That's pretty awesome. We like ginger flavor. Then we're going to add in some sesame seeds. There we go. Alright, now we're just going to combine this all together. Okay, we're going to flatten it down. This is a fried rice. Now this is a perfect accompaniment to Catalina chicken. Okay, our chicken is done. It smells amazing in the house. Sweet and tangy. Oh my goodness. I tried a little piece right here just to make sure that it was done and it just falls right apart like that right there. Oh yeah. Okay, we're going to plate this up with some fried rice and give it a try. <laughs> the chicken is cutting like butter. Mmm. It's so delicious. And that fried rice, even with that little gravy on there from the chicken, mmm. Mm hmm. Okay, you saw how easy all of this came together. <laughs> Catalina chicken in the crock pot with fried rice. It's so delicious. Comment down below, you guys, what you think of my recipe. Don't forget my thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when these shows are posted. Go check out my playlist for more Crock-Pot meals. Don't forget to share this video, you guys. You know your friends are going to want to make this. I will see you on my next episode.